Beer, schnitzel, more beer. Put on your lederhosen for an authentic German experience at Trinktisch, a beer hall in Belmont. We want to try to incorporate a lot of things uh, that we experienced in our travels, bring all that together with really, really great food and hospitality and beer. Owners Kate Baker and Suzanne Shalo are well known for their craft beer cellar franchise. In the spring of 2021, they opened Trinktisch in this multi-level space in Belmont Center. So tell me how important it is to get the local audience of Belmont in the door and especially because this was a dry town not that long ago. The town of Belmont is just wonderful. The surrounding towns, we're very, very lucky and we're humbled by the outpouring of support because it's literally been since day one. Diners also flock to Trinktisch for special events, including monthly multi-course dinners paired with beer. This one is also heavy on spices. Marketing coordinator Matthew Henry walks me through a tasting. This is Trinktisch Table Lager, our beer hall beer. Think notes of freshly baked bread, biscuit. So clean, crisp. That's the kind of lager that I would normally order if I was gonna have one. Dishes here are hearty and huge. Popular items include zoi, a creamy chicken stew with fennel, leeks, carrots, and celery. It all looks amazing. Another customer pick, chicken croquettes filled with mashed potatoes, spinach, and cheese. Our secret ingredient here is just a little tiny wedge of fontina cheese. Just kind of pinch and now start to roll like a meatball, and then you are good to go. We have a lot, you're gonna stick around, right? Get, yeah, I was gonna say, the there's quite a bit of work to do here. <laughs> Baker breads pork schnitzel liberally before frying it. We do this twice a week, probably 40 at a time, is how many we're selling. It's just dredging, I think is what my grandmother used to call it. Dredging. You know, dredging. <laughs> Baker adds parsley, potatoes, and braised red cabbage cooked with onion, green apple, juniper berry, and clove. It's the kind of meal that Baker hopes will become a local classic. Something good enough that they're going to come back time and time again. You have to be able to earn people's trust. Nelmai has planted its roots in Hingham. I wanted to create a restaurant where now the way I dine, the way I hang out with my friends, we like to go to a nice place that has great food, but it's a very casual setting and uh, have a lot of fun with communal dining still at the same time. Nomai is the latest venture from Brian Moy's Shoujo Group. Moy's Chinatown Gastro Pub, Shoujo, is thought of as funky, edgy, and cool, while Nomai, Moy says, is more like its grown up sibling. When I opened Shoujo, I was living in the city, I was single, I was out to have a lot of fun. Now I have a family, I'm married, and I moved from the city to the South Shore. Nomai gets its name from the shoujo nomai, a type of Japanese maple tree. Three realistic Japanese maple trees seemingly grow right from the ground under the restaurant, giving diners the illusion that they're eating outdoors. That was my number one thing. I wanted to have these trees inside. I wanted to sort of represent a home in different parts of the house. So where the front of the restaurant is, is actually the backyard. The lanterns are sort of hung like string lights as if you would have in the backyard. And then the dining room behind me is going to be the living room and the dining room. Though the restaurant gets its name from a Japanese maple tree, Moy tells us Nomai is a new American restaurant with Asian flavors. Essentially, I want to create something that I think that the community is lacking or needing. What is available is pork fried rice, general gauze chicken, and don't get me wrong, I love my lobster sauce, pork fried rice, egg roll plate. But at the end of the day, I wanted to be able to represent Asian food in a certain way that is elevated. The menu is divided into categories that make sharing easy. Diners will see familiar favorites with a twist, including koji fried chicken, boneless fried chicken topped with a ginger green scallion sauce, and scallops plated with bacon jam, shishito peppers, and kumquat. I want to be able to introduce some ingredients to people that typically may not want to try, but deliver it in a way that is a surprise to them. Hopefully they're going to be more open and apt to try other ingredients that they might not have before. Like the pork and squid ink wontons or the sesame yogurt paired with wok charred cauliflower. What we really wanted to accomplish was bringing that city flavor, city fun, and city atmosphere to the suburbs. 
The lively bar scene here boasts an extensive sake list and cocktails are crafted with that Asian flair in mind. Moi favors the umami old fashioned or the Go-Go 75, a combination of gin, sake, pear, kiwi, yuzu, and champagne. I think the community around here is really excited to see something new, have some new food options, and really be able to bring some city flavors, some city flair and energy to the, to the area.